Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are moving on with Ancient Egypt, but before we do, the game wants us to visit our Zen Garden, because we got our first little seedling in the last episode, which was of course the first episode. Be sure you check it out before you check out this one, because that way you won't be totally confused. I see you found a sprout. Maybe if you water it, you'll get coins? I would hope so. At least that's how I think it works. All right, so place the sprout right here. And as you can see, we get ourselves a little, uh, Marigold, the water. Uh, the marigold is ready for water. Where, where, do I just tap it? Oh, okay, I was looking for the water bucket, the water can. All right, so now it's gonna take seven hours and 30 minutes to grow. If you wait a while, your marigold will grow. But you can speed up the process with gems. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. I mean, it's gonna make me do it for this one. Can't save those gems, unfortunately. We got a bunch of coins. All right, a batch of coins and she's done. You may plant another sprout now, so they just go away in their own, so we can't even sell them anymore. So that's where it can be a little not as fun. Also, that gnome in the top left looks just like Crazy Dave, that's sort of weird. Uh, but yeah, we could plant more. We have another seedling, so we could do that. It could be another marigold, so we can water it. It can be a different plant, though, at times, so always good to keep in mind. So with that done, as you can see, we are good to move forward. Um, return to the Zen Garden often to earn coins. I'll keep that in mind. So let's move on to level seven over this way and see what exactly we got going on. I'm not really sure. Zebra Strip to Ancient Egypt continues with day seven. I think there's 35 days in total, so I'm gonna try to get to day 20. No, no, day like 15 or something. I don't know, I'll have to see. Uh, we'll just try our best. Um, There we go. Let's set up some, I don't know why I set them up there. That was the worst place to set them up. <laughs> Whoopsies, I wasn't really paying attention. I was just sort of getting started. I'm gonna hold on to the potato mine for now. And let's speed things up a little bit. That does make the conveyor belt move faster. That's always good. And let's get that cabbage pulp there. So I really put the the, <laughs> the boomerangs in the worst possible spot. Get that there. And get this here, I guess. If we can get rid of that guy, that'd be helpful. Here we go. Now we can save ourselves. Excellent. Okay, let me grab that. And we got a sandstorm coming in. I wanna get that set up just like that. We should be good. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far, I guess. I need more bloomerangs, there we go. Because more of these camel zombies are making their way in. Got it. And we got lots of potato mines ready and waiting, but I do wanna wait for a good time, you know? I wanna make sure these zombies sort of back off a little bit. So now that we have our completed row, maybe I could just start doing another row out this way. Okay, sandstorm's coming in. I don't like it. Let's do some walnuts. Oh, that was a little too soon. Like, oh man, I messed that up because I didn't see the boomerang because I'm a dingus. Okay, we already have triple uh, plant food now. That's good. Another huge wave of zombies coming in. Probably gonna have to remove that walnut, but we'll wait for now. That's for sure. But now I can put a walnut out this way, which is where I was trying to put them before. But you know what? Maybe it would be good to get something like this going on. Put that there. Uh, throw some stuff out like that so we can grab more plant food. So we just sort of spent one to get one. That's not too bad of a trade. Okay, this is very interesting so far. Even though I think we're approaching the last round already. This is actually a really fast level. I mean, obviously using the speed up surely helps, but some of these levels just go by real quick. I feel like that's not how it, I mean, definitely in PvZ1, the levels would go by a lot slower. But there we go, as you can see, we get a couple more coins and we're done with this level. Awesome. All right, we got a bag of coins. It's better than a bag of imps. There, there are coins. Okay, uh, I, I do agree the imps can be a little bit too much. But um, let's keep moving. Good start to the day. Oh, and we're just moving to the next level. I guess we can do that without having to go back to the overworld. And it's forcing us to start with an iceberg lettuce, which is interesting. Um, I don't really mind that, but as you can see, there are some new zombies. You can't really check them out at the moment. Um, but they are a big problem, if I remember them correctly. Uh, but we have two potato mines, a walnut, and an iceberg lettuce. So let's get a sunflower. Let's get, I think, a bloomerang, potato mine. Something like this, I think, would work. We don't need the pea shooter right now. And let's get started with planting. So sunflower right away, of course. I mean, plenty of sun should be falling, falling from the sky. We are, at, we are at Egypt, after all. It's probably very hot. So, 
let's speed some things up just for now because as you can see, this is what it's trying to show us. There are new zombies here with torches and they will melt or burn away any plant that touches it except for the iceberg lettuce. So if we wanna save a potato mine here, boom. There we go, that's much better. Now they're still gonna get taken out by the potato mine, so was that sort of a waste, I guess? I mean, he might have even burned through that, I'm not sure. I don't wanna risk it for now. So we just gotta use the iceberg lettuces against them. They're some of my least favorite zombies, and of course they're thrown at us right at the very beginning of the game. I'm gonna move that sunflower. I didn't mean to put her there anyways. Okay, so we got a sandstorm coming in. We just have to be prepared, because now we got a new foe approaching. These are my second least favorite zombies in this game. They throw little gravestones, which honestly isn't too big of a deal for the most part. They're definitely a lot bigger of a pain in PvZ heroes. <laughs> but um, yeah, we gotta just deal with them whatever way we can. Luckily, since the boomerangs can shoot right through them, we'll be able to at least use that defense for as long as possible. So let me go ahead and freeze that dude over that way. And definitely using the, uh, the power-ups, the plant food on the iceberg lettuce will be one of our most useful tactics because we can freeze everybody on the field. So if it seems like there's an overwhelming amount of the torch zombies, that's probably what we have to do. So good to keep that in mind. I'm honestly not gonna focus on too many other things here, but man, there's that gravestone in a bad position up there. I don't like it. Oh man, I'm just sort of out of luck with that one. I can at least so get you out of here. This is where it'd be really nice to have a max level bloomerang. I'll tell you that much. Oh, get that, we got our sapling. That's cool. I can't quite freeze that guy up there. This might be where it's good to have a cabbage pole. And just, boom. Oh, I didn't really even need to, was that it? Oh, I thought there was gonna be more. I was sort of preparing for the worst and it never really happened. All right, let's get some coins. And as you can see, we are good. Okay, so we're making our way through the levels real fast. We get another bag of coins. Uh, a, a coin in the bag is way better than looking at a gift zombie in the mouth. I would assume so. So let's see what our sapling was at the uh, the garden, the greenhouse, whatever it's called. Zen garden isn't just for growing marigolds. You can also grow mega powerful boosted plants, but boosted plants only last for a single level. So a boosted plant, if I remember correctly, is every time you place the plant down, it'll do its normal plant food effect without having to spend the plant food, which is pretty cool. So this plant sprout and it looks like it's going to be a sunflower, very cool. So she's ready for water, keep her growing to get a boost. Very cool. We need 10 gems. Oh, oh hey Penny, you gonna give me 10 gems? Your sunflower will grow up too, but it takes a while. Try some more gems to speed her up. I will do everything I can. So we got 10 gems, just do that, and we get the boost. Uh, gets free plant boost effect when planted. This boost lasts for one level. We have to use the boost right now, unfortunately. Sunflower is now boosted, uh, the boost lasts for one level. So, oh, there's a bee there. I don't know what the bee does. I'll find out later. <laughs> For right now, there's a new epic quest available. And return to the Zen Garden often to boost your plants. Will do. Um, let's take a look at our new epic quest. So there's a couple of quests going on here. Our world quest is unlock the Grey Buster. We'll be doing that in a level. Uh, level of plants are amazing. Be amazed by some not so simple pea shooters. I don't know what level we have to play for that. And then there's try premium plants for free. Take a premium plant out for a spin and earn some rewards while doing it. That's pretty cool. We got some events, epic quest, premium seeds, escape route. So I guess this is our epic quest. I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not. I feel like these kind of things are much easier if you know what you're doing in the game. Which not to say I don't know what I'm doing, but I definitely can know a lot more about what I'm doing than I currently do now in PvZ 2, especially with all the different plants. Zebra strip to ancient Egypt, let's get started. Okay, so yeah, we got our sunflower here that's boosted, so we definitely wanna use her. And then I think we will go with something like this, you know, the only thing I can't really do is the, uh, the pea shooter. Okay, that's fine. And taking a look, lots of gravestones. And besides that, nothing too crazy. So as you can see, as soon as I place down a sunflower, I get three suns. So that's very good. It's gonna be a great way to earn up sun. And that's where these kind of things can be very, very helpful. Uh, these boosted plants, especially the sunflower, because we just get so much sun. So if there's anything the game needs us to throw at the zombies, we definitely will be able to afford it now. Because if I needed to, I could just, like say I'm all out of room for some flowers, I could go like this and just place another one and it instantly pays itself back. Didn't have to do that this time, but I figured I'd show the example while I have the time to. There we go. You can also put some uh, walnuts up to start a wall of walnuts. <laughs> a wall of walnuts. I mean, it makes sense, which is funny. And let's get as many bloomerangs out as we possibly can. 
We have 700 sun already. So we're, we're sort of in good situation here. There we go. Just need one more bloomerang to be placed. We can start working on the cabbage pulse as well. Got that plant food, our first bit of plant food of the round. Always good to see. So we're going pretty well with this. I mean, I could freeze him. I'll have to wait and see if it's necessary. It's looking like it might not be. I don't wanna risk it, but there he goes. And the moment he gets taken out, it's no longer a problem. He's like torch just unlights itself. Okay. So let's get a one up there. Get that power up and plenty of coins too. Hmm, so there's lots of stuff going on here. I think that we wanna go ahead and freeze everybody just like that. Then we can use the cabbage pulp. And then we can just, oh my gosh, use another cabbage pulp. But first let's get the seedlings. Oh my gosh, so much to get. Okay, uh, do it again. Oh, there was only one zombie over that way. I didn't even see him. There we go. Very cool. Okay, that was actually a really good reward. We got three seedlings out of that and a couple of coins. That's as good as it gets. And what do we get as a reward? Oh, we get ourselves finally another new plant. It is, of course, the Grave Buster. Planted on a grave to remove the grave. Very cool. So the Grave Buster has gone through a little bit of a redesign in this, but oh my gosh, what do we got here? A pinata, what it'll have for us, it has 100 coins. And look at that, already some level up for the Grave Buster. Oh, maybe not, weird. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's some other stuff here as well. Maybe, that's it? Okay, for now it is. And let's see our Zen Garden with our more plants to plant. This'll be cool. Let's see what's going on. So we got uh, two seedlings. I thought we had three seedlings. I guess we only had two. Never mind. I thought we had three. Uh, we got a pea shooter and an iceberg lettuce. Very cool. So I'll water those guys up. So what does this bee do? Tap a plant and this bee will speed it up. Okay, who has the longest time? The marigold does. Maybe I shouldn't speed up marigolds. Can I do that again? No, I can't. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh well. I guess the bee might show up every once in a while. We can use him to speed things up. So unfortunately, you don't have like Stinky the snail or anything to help you in this one. It seems. Which is sort of a shame. Anyways, there we go, we got the Grave Buster. We can view it in the Almanac, which is exactly what I wanna do because we should be able to level him up soon, I guess. Yeah, he costs more to level up for whatever reason. I guess there's like sort of different amounts for different plants. Yeah, I suppose so. Weird. Gotta keep that in mind. So we started to get five more for the Grave Buster to level him up. I guess he's sort of fine how he is though, so it's not too crazy. And let's move on to level number 10. What do we got going on in here? Hopefully something good. Zebra stripped ancient Egypt, that's exactly what this is. So, taking a look at everything again, we got lots of gravestones, but beyond that, it's nothing too crazy. I don't know what we'll get as a reward for this one. Obviously, we don't have the boosted sunflower to help us out. Okay, so what do I wanna do with that? I'm thinking I don't need a potato mine, especially with the iceberg lettuce being as versatile as it is. I think this will work just fine. I mean, it might be a little bit expensive to afford the uh, bloomerang at first, but I don't need to afford the bloomerang at first. You know, I can sort of work with cabbage poles to begin with and roll it out from there. We'll have to wait and see. But um, right now, let me get some of that done. And I could freeze him if I really need it. We'll wait and see if it gets nasty. But for right now, cabbage poles should do the trick. I need one more sun from the sunflower. Come on now. There it is and get another sunflower out of it, what do you know? So here comes another guy. I can get one more sun again. That's all I need, there we go. Okay, we're doing pretty good now. Just gonna keep this going on for as long as we can. And when they're not attacking zombies, they're gonna be attacking the gravestone, so that should work out pretty well, but seeing how these are zero cost, we can try that out a little bit and see how it goes. Don't you dare steal my sun. No, it's mine. <laughs> Don't you dare take it. Can't take that from me. But yeah, it's pretty good just to be able to get the gravestones away that way. Honestly, I don't think the Grave Buster is as important in this game as it was in PvZ1 because of the fact that you can shoot through the gravestones. Like, the Cabbage Pulse prioritize zombies over gravestones. Like, it really shows you what's more important. Um, And it just doesn't work the way it used to, where, you know, you couldn't even damage gravestones. Your big problem was that, uh... I mean, I guess it's bad against pea shooters, now that I think about it. Yeah, I guess it is because I think the pea shooters can't attack zombies beyond gravestones, so maybe I'm wrong. But in PvZ1, you would be able to go right through them. So, definitely a bit different. So I guess there are times, depending on the situation, what you want to build, the Grave Buster can be very important. 
But if you're just doing Bloomerang, it doesn't really matter too much because it can shoot right through those anyways. But now we're getting a bunch of these. It's great. So we got more of these guys making uh, gravestones. I don't appreciate it. Okay, there we go. So we're doing pretty good. I'm thinking that we should put a walnut maybe here. I don't think I'm gonna need too much more. I mean, we're only on our first huge wave out of two. This might be the first level we have where there's two huge waves, which is pretty cool. So I have almost full plant food right now. And there's our full set of them. If I could just hold on tight for a while, I would love that. That way we can just sort of focus on building up our walnuts and stuff. Even though at this point I'm tempted, maybe I could backtrack a little and set up some bloomerangs back here. That way you don't have to worry about too much. Well, let's go and do this because I do see this guy right here. He should be dropping some stuff. There we go. So I might do the same thing over this way. Just because we don't need the sunflowers as much, I might as well make that room for bloomerangs. That way we don't have to back up like crazy or anything. All right, now we're on for real the last wave. So I wanna go ahead and do that. I've never tried doing the plant power up on the, it doesn't work, okay. So the, unfortunately the grave digger just doesn't have one. Or the grave buster doesn't have one. Oh well. Let's do that, let's do this, and that should be enough to get rid of the rest of the zombies. It looks like it did. Very, very cool. And we just get some coins. Nothing too crazy for this one, but an interesting challenge on the last week. Collected seed packets, collect 40 seed packets, very cool. Unlock Bong Choy, this pugilistic plant beats zombies and upwards and backwards. Oh, did we unlock Bong Choy? No, not yet, but I guess that's what we're gonna be doing soon. Like your head is full of brains, this bag is full of coins. All right, power plants are here. We already know about them, the game has told us, so we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to watch a tutorial video or anything. So yeah, things are going pretty well this episode. We've been getting levels done. Hasn't been a challenge, really. Oh, hey, what's up? The level is a locked coordinate in time. You must take these plants to win. Otherwise, you risk distorting reality. Never distort reality, you'll pull something. <laughs> Maybe more than just a muscle. Survive the zombie's attack, or the zombie attack with the given plants. Oh, this is interesting. Huh, so we can plant them anywhere. Ooh, look at this, we get the double sunflower, the twin sunflower, very cool. What's different about the twin sunflower in this game is that it's not an upgrade on the sunflower. You don't need to place it over a sunflower, as so far as I understand, from what I remember. Let's go ahead and put a potato mine down. We might as well work with that strategy while we have this. But as you can see, I can just Put that down right there, how cool is that? So I'll probably just start with mostly normal sunflowers here and then upgrade them to twins later on. Cause it definitely looks like we need sun wherever we can get it. But for right now, if we can work with the potato mines, that'll be great. So yeah, I probably want to just do this now. Maybe a waste of some sun. Yeah, I don't know, we're moving pretty quick still. I mean, I know we have double speed on. But beyond that, still pretty snappy. Okay, so. I'll put a pea shooter there and a bloomerang here. And we can keep going with the twin sunflower. I only need one more and then we already have a full set. And that's like, you know, the equivalence of two rows of sunflowers. And that's like so much easier than putting down a sunflower and then putting down a twin sunflower, which is a lot more expensive and difficult. So glad to see this. I'm gonna put a pea shooter here. I think that should be enough to get rid of this cone head. A little bit risky and I haven't done anything about this. That's equally as risky. What am I doing right now? I did not look like a Plants vs. Zombies pro at the moment, I can tell you that much. Let's get our bearings straight. There we go. And I think I'll put them up. No, that's not what I wanted. Whoopsies. I wanted this one. Yeah, I told you I'm not very good with touchscreen controls. I just, I'm a mess. And we'll put that guy right there. I'm already missing the iceberg lettuce. He's just, sometimes it's just, it's the best option. Oh, I, just, I just miss him every time we don't have him. Okay, so far so good though. We're getting our first plant power up over this way, it seems, if this goes well. So we're you know, approaching our first huge wave of zombies and things are looking okay. We got some bucket heads and stuff popping up. And that could be a bit scary, but we should be making it out on the other side, all right. Got our second zombie with a plant power up coming up. There we go, and our third one over that way. Very cool, that'll be great for the next huge wave. And this is where things get a bit riskier and maybe where I should have maybe added some extra space for the uh, walnut. 
Because they're gonna eat through that guy, aren't they? I think they will. Okay, so you know what? Now might be a good time just to use this one. This is where I would really like a cabbage pot as well. I love the cabbage pot super move. It's so good. Got it. Uh Okay. Uh this is a bit of a problem, but we made it work. Okay. Put that there. Get this sun. And then beat up these guys. Pretty good. Got more plant food. I need to wait for a walnut. But in the meantime, I could Oh no. Uh how about I do a potato mine? There we go. Nice, and that made a couple more. We got two more seedlings so far, which is great. So much sun right now. I'm thinking I should have probably just gotten rid of the twin sunflowers, but we did fine. I don't know what I was so worried about. We win, and look at that, we get ourselves another pinata. I like it. Okay, not so bad for 20 minutes. I mean, we did level five, six, seven, oh no, we did six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So yeah, pretty good, six levels so far. I wanna see if we can't get to 20, I guess? No, 50, yeah, 25, I guess, would be good. Maybe, I don't know, we'll have to see. Or maybe just 20, that way we can do 15, yeah, 15 today and 15 in the next episode. And look at this, our iceberg lettuce is good to go. Um, And we get some more for the walnut, but not quite enough to get him a level up. Still good to make some progress. All right, so survive the zombie attack with the given plants. I'm gonna go ahead and check out our Zen garden, because apparently there's some stuff to check out there, because we got more seedlings. Getting lots of seedlings is a lot of fun. Hmm. So I'm gonna plant two more of these guys. We get ourselves another marigold and a cabbage pullet. How adorable. Let's wait a second to see if the bee will show up. I guess he won't. And let's take a look at our almanac so we can level up the iceberg lettuce just like this from level one to level two. The recharge time goes from 20 to 19. Our special freeze does something. I mean, I guess it just gets more special. Yeah, what, what do you mean the, I guess, I don't know, maybe the freeze lasts longer. That'd be cool. I'm gonna assume that's the thing uh, that's going on there, but who knows. So let's keep it going on here. We're moving on over to level 12. There's a giant pyramid in the background. That's pretty cool. And let's see what's going on. Not really sure. Zebra strip to ancient Egypt continues. Oh, there's a new zombie, the sarcophagus zombie. I don't like that guy. I don't know who would. So we still, I feel like I want to select the twin sunflower. Fortunately, I don't have it, but we do find it in ancient Egypt, which is nice. Uh, so what do I want to do here? I don't think I want the pea shooter. I think I want this combo. How many gravestones are there? It might be worth it to have a grave buster. Something like that, oh wait, not the walnut. Something like this isn't abysmal. I think we can work with it, I think we can make it happen. And let's get planting. Got 50 coins, not 50 coins, 50 sun. Gonna be rolling in with this sunflower. And we can just get another one set up. Let's speed it up. I do like the speed up function. I think that's probably one of the best additions. I talked about it a lot when I was playing PvZ1. It's like, oh man, I really missed a speed up function because that was just one of the best things about it for the slower parts of the game. And you know what? It's perfect. I was I was right. It's really good. I do think that there are some things that PvD, PvZ2 doesn't do as well as PvZ1, but I think all in all, both are really fun games. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna put that, oh, that's not exactly where I wanted it, but you know what? Maybe we could double up on bloomerangs on it. That's what I wanna do. I mean, I'm doubling up on sunflowers. Might as well just go crazy in this level. I mean, there are two huge waves to survive, so it really might be that we end up needing it. Let me put that there. Put a bloomerang here. And now we're in business. Now we're really moving. I mean, I do have to figure out getting the cabbage pots somewhere. You can put them there for now. Continue with the sunflowers. This is like a lot of press here. Freeze them. There we go. That might be good. Uh, hopefully it'll actually be enough though. Uh, please let it be enough because if not, I'm in big trouble. No, it's not enough. It wasn't enough. Beat him up. I can't believe I'm making this mistake right now. Uh, just do this. That should be enough. I am so sorry. Now this is going all wrong. All wrong. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna put a potato mine here and then explode it. Jeez Louise, what have I done? <laughs> so many mistakes, so many mistakes were made. Just get a cabbage bolt out there. I don't know why I, why or how I let this happen. Jeez Louise, come on. Throw this, freeze this guy, get a cabbage bolt back this way. 
and I have plenty of sun, I just need to start playing it. Oh, why'd I put two boomerangs there? I'm freaking out. I'm still getting used to like playing on an iPad too. Like I feel like I was so much better playing on a computer screen, on a tablet, there's like so many little, like I don't know, everything's like sort of you know zoomed out I guess in a way. Come on, will they get rid of him? Yes they will. Good job, Cabbage Pult. Get a boomerang there. I need a Cabbage Pult on this lane. Get another boomerang there just for good measure, I suppose. Something like that. Okay, speed things back up a little bit, I think. We're good to keep going. I'm just gonna put a bunch of boomerangs everywhere. <laughs> if it works, it works, you know? Okay, uh, get this one here. And we do have this guy over this way. I don't like him very much. Iceberg, come on, get at it. And I don't know if they're gonna be able to get rid of that guy or not. We're gonna try our darndest. There we go. If I need to, I can just kaboom. Wait, why didn't it go after the guy right in front of him? That's sort of lame. Okay, it's the final wave coming in here. I don't know if I've made grave mistakes or not. It definitely seems like it. I'm gonna put one there. I have one last plant power up if I need it, and it definitely seems like I need it. I think we're just gonna do the cabbage bolt. That worked okay. Oh no. Okay, another boomerang. Probably gonna have to set up an iceberg right here. Not too bad. Get another one going. That zombie could just not be a jerk. Oh, I have space right here. What am I doing? I think they'll be able to get him, but the iceberg's available. So get this figured out. Come on, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got him. Okay, why was that? It stinks that was the last guy we got, but we get a pyramid? I guess we inherited the, uh, whoever was in the sarcophagus, the pharaoh. I collected 40 seed packets, cool. Or at least we, we need to collect 40 seed packets. We're at 28, apparently. Um, well, oh no, jeez, I didn't know that was still activated. Though tetrahedons are pyramids, this one is not a platonic solid. I'm so hungry, I would love a platonic solid. User Dave, this is also not a taco salad. <laughs> Poor crazy Dave, he never understands. Pyramid of Doom, survive level after level of escalating zombie attacks. Test your skills in this endless zone. So yeah, this is an endless game mode. Not something I wanna tackle right now, but very cool to keep in mind. Reminder, level up your one up from level one to level two. Visit the almanac to level up. Thanks. I thought I already leveled him up. Or maybe I didn't have enough stuff to level him up. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, but yeah, let's get back in here. I don't know why it's booting me out. <laughs> That's weird. Um, but there you go, as you can see, the Pyramid of Doom opening up. Uh, Pyramid of Doom is now available. Very cool. That's not something I'm gonna tackle now. I think that might be something we tackle after we complete Ancient Egypt. I feel like that'd be fun, just to you know have an endless episode. Um, with that being said, Walnut. Yeah, I can't afford it. What do you mean get it to level one? I can't. You, you won't let me. You won't get me more free stuff. Okay, so get back at it. We got level 13. We're starting to make our way through the levels a little bit more slowly, but that's fine. Let's see what's going on here. Level objectives, survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. Why do you have mold colonies in ancient Egypt, Dave? Can you put them somewhere else? I guess not. Um, I thought there was gonna be like some kind of story behind it, but Crazy Dave doesn't seem interested in explaining himself. We have 16,000 coins now though, that's pretty cool. So let's get started with this. Putting down some flowers. I'm gonna try to pay a little bit more attention this time and not get ourselves into uh, bad situations like we did the last level. And I think we'll be fine, but you never know, which is why we gotta be careful and place down as many things as we can. Get potato mines to be at the ready for when we are running into issues with zombies coming in because they're gonna be getting here a lot sooner than they normally do because of the fact that we're out two rows. Okay, so probably only one row, or yeah, two, one row, one lane of sunflowers will be what I take. I'm gonna do another potato mine though, so I can start figuring things out. Definitely use your gray busters where I can. And I'm just waiting to see where the next zombie might pop up. In the meantime, click sun as much as I can. I mean, I should probably, at this rate, just get it going. Yeah, like that, okay, that was actually perfect. Okay, get something like that going on. Pretty good, pretty good. Hmm, okay, now we're a little bit lower on sun. That's fine. Okay, will we get him? Oh, this is gonna be close. That is what it snuck up on us pretty well. I mean, he didn't really sneak up on us because we were aware of it the entire time, but this was not a good situation. Oh, there we go. Very cool, we get ourselves the seedling for this level. Getting lots of those, to be honest with you. 
more than I remember getting in this game. Like, I definitely feel like they changed up the beginning of the game a lot, which is not something I'd expect them to do, you know? Just because it seemed fine how it was. I mean, I know some parts of it were really tough, so maybe they made it easier for beginning, beginners, which I'm fine with, because to be honest with you, while PVZ1 was difficult, this game is so crazy tough, and they make it that way so that like you feel pressured to buy coins and gems and you know, plants and stuff, which stinks that it has to be that way, but I sort of understand the sort of the nature of the beast. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. We're already on our last wave, so I might deal with you guys, and that's not actually the button I meant to press, but I'll just do that, and that, and we'll be done. So this was a pretty quick level. And we get ourselves a good old buddy, the Bong Choy. How cool is that the mold is so excited. It's like, hey, we're, li we're live. All right, we get Bong Choy. Rapidly punches enemies ahead or behind another new plant in PVZ2. Level objectives survive without planning on Dave's mold colonies completed. Which means we unlock Bong Choy. We get ourselves another little thing. Very cool, a thousand coins. Two Bong Choy level up things. We need one more to get him leveled up. And we get five of these. We will be able to level up the Grave Buster. Cool to make some progress somewhere, right? And what about the world quest? Looks like nothing too much right now. I don't know where we do this level up plants are amazing thing. Be amazed by some, I mean, I thought we already had done that one. Maybe there's more of them. But hey, let's go ahead and plant some of our seedlings before we move forward for today's episode. I only have one more slot left, so just make the most of it. And the bee is back. Get that guy. So which one, maybe I should speed up the one that's taking the least amount of time. That way it can just get out of here sooner. 21 minutes, it's one step closer, I suppose. And let's get some level ups going on if we can level up. Oh, a thousand coins this time. I mean, we still have to do it. 400 toughness and the bust speed is faster. I feel like though, like really? Why Why does that cost a thousand coins? It's way too much. I don't know if those exactly even worth it because like, I don't know. How useful will he be over time? I guess we'll find out. So with that done, let's keep moving forward and see what we can do over this way. So, yep, let's go over to level 14. And now we'll be able to use our brand new plant, the Bonk Choy, I'm super excited for him. Hopefully it'll be fun. What will it be this time? I think it's just our normal round, looks like it. So, sunflowers to start things off. Iceberg. I gotta use the leveled up Grave Buster now that I've spent money on it. We'll try this, a bit more of an expensive combo, but I think we can work it. So definitely get that Grey Buster. We're gonna have two rows of uh, sunflowers this time for sure. But then I wanna try the brand new Bong Choy. He's gonna be very, very fun. He's definitely has some interesting things going on with him. I don't know about every plant in PVZ2, but the ones I do, I've really liked so far. I mean, some of them I know more about them in PVZ Heroes than I do PVZ2. So let's go ahead and get a potato mine set up and Grey Bust as many graves as we can. There we go. It's about 125 sun. But definitely we're grave busting graves a little bit faster, which is, you know, enjoyably productive. So I'm gonna set up another potato mine for that guy. Sun is coming in everywhere now. That's good. And now we can start setting up some blue meringues, I believe, without it being too much of an issue. Okay, got it. I'm gonna get this one here. Let's keep grave busting. And I don't need to place any more sunflowers, so try not to worry about that. But I definitely wanna get one of you set up just like that. Like maybe more than one bloomerang would be a good idea, but I wouldn't mind putting them in front of the bong choy. But as you can see, the bong choy just punches left and right going crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> I, just, I love him so much. I mean, obviously he does have a limited amount of uses because of his lack of range, but he can be very good, for sure. You can't down, doubt the Bong Choy. I think he works well with a walnut, just like the Chomper does. In a way, he definitely is sort of like a different kind of, in play style, he's like Chomper. In some ways, he's not like Chomper at all, but he's pretty cool nonetheless. As he's punching, he's jabbing, and then boom, he finishes him off. But you don't want to line up a bunch of Bong Choys, because then the majority of them won't be really doing too much. But what you could do is set up some boomerangs if I wasn't being overwhelmed right now. Okay, you know what? I think we're doing good. I can grave bust this thing. 
I can get more Bong Choi set up, get another Bloomerang set up in front of it. Because just like the, the Chomper, it does have sort of some room to work with, if I remember correctly, so that'll be good. Uh, so I might actually want to do something like this. Okay, lots of action happening right now. I'm thinking another Bloomerang right there. That worked out pretty well. I'm gonna freeze this guy so we can, did that not work? It didn't freeze him. It like, just sort of exploded, nothing happened. That's sort of a letdown. Come on, this is a problem, he broke through. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on. Luckily the Bong Choi can attack behind himself, but this is getting ridiculous. There we go. We're almost done with this madness. Put in that one there. We got one more Bloomerang to place down. You got it. Oh no, wait, I, I, I was gonna put one there, but then there was a gravestone in the way. <laughs> what a jerk. Let's freeze this guy. Perfect timing. So a huge wave of zombies is approaching. That is for sure. I don't know which one we should attack. I mean, what we could do, if we can just wait it out a couple of moments. Come on. Just like that, and since we haven't shown it off, like maybe I should, but I would like some zombies to be closer, is Bong Choi's ability. I might just have to showcase it right now. You know what I could do, actually? Put him there, play it like that, and there we go. He just attacks crazy in all eight directions surrounding him. So up, down, left, right, diagonal, up, left, diagonal, up, right, diagonal, up, down, or diagonal, down, left, sorry. <laughs> diagonal, down, right. So like those eight all together, pretty crazy stuff. And there we go, we got another bag of money. Cool, cool, cool. The Bong Choi is super awesome. We collected 40 seed packets, or that's our goal. We have 21 seed packs remaining. Five levels remaining. Before we unlock the repeater, you guys are spoiling me right now. I wanna find out for myself, I gotta stop looking at that. Okay, so our next level here, there's a plant call on the banana phone. It's an SOS. <laughs> They'll be sitting plants if we don't help. Let's take that route and save them. So many puns. Survive and protect the endangered plants. So it looks like there's some sunflowers here that desperately need our help, and you better bet we're gonna be helping them. So what do we wanna do here? I'm thinking, of course, sunflower, even though we have a, a couple of sunflowers waiting for us. I wouldn't mind a bong choy, and then a bloomerang, and then something like this. How are we doing with gravestones? Could be arguable that gravestones could help. Hmm or great busters, but I think we could work with this. As long as we're quick about it, we should be okay. We got three sun right away, that's always nice. What I think we'll end up doing here is be putting, I mean, we also have to make a balance with everywhere else is the thing. We'll just get a lot of suns out for now. I'll put a potato mine there, luckily it's not going right for the sunflower, so if any of these sunflowers get knocked out, the level automatically ends, so it's really tough. You gotta make a good balance with everything, but we can start doing that now with the bonk choices, getting them set up in proper positions. I might have like a lot of sunflowers in the back then, just so we can get a nice reservoir of sun while we're working with everything else. Cause I have potato mines and walnuts and bloomerangs and bonk choices set up. It's like a bunch of stuff right now. So I really wanna make the most of it. There we go. So my goal would be only to set up the bloomerangs in the background. So we got another walnut we can put there. But we wanna have like a whole setup of a, uh, Bong choice over this way, as you can see. Just like that. I mean, I don't know if that'll be perfect, but we'll try our best with it and see how it ends up going. All right, more sunflowers, more bloomerangs, and more walnuts. Probably should've put it in front of the one with the cone head, but live and learn. Okay, this should work, but I'll freeze them just in case. There we go, so many suns trying to be taken away from me. I'm not letting it happen. I feel like the walnuts are definitely restoring more quickly. Maybe because they're already level two? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get that there. Very, very nice. And we can get that set up. And there we go, we already got a full row of bloomerang. So I can start backtracking now and getting rid of some of the sunflowers in favor of more bloomerang. So doing a little bit of that might not be that bad of an idea. Probably should have, yeah, I did that where the sunflower was. Definitely try to keep that in mind. Do it where the sunflower is. Um, that way we can protect them as much as possible. I wonder if we can just dig up the sunflower. I'm not gonna try it because I'd be really dumb, but can you just like disqualify yourself from winning? Oh, I missed that one. No, I wanted. To, I didn't want to slow things down. I just wanted to get that sun and I misclicked, I suppose. Uh, there we go. 
And then I might even set up another Bloomerang just right behind that one. We still have another phase to survive after this. It's also worth it to pay attention to the walnuts and stuff. So, you know, we're about to get another plant food, so what I could do is set this guy up here and then just go crazy, beat up whatever plants or zombies are nearby. That's always good to do. So it looks like some huge wave of zombies are approaching. It's the final wave, so we can definitely make something happen here. I'm thinking that we wanna do this and then activate it, get this plant food, put a bong choy here, make him attack like crazy, and probably do the same thing over that way. So go like this, get rid of him. Very good, it's so powerful. I love it. So we did that swimmingly. Got through it a-okay. And as you can see, we got um, a little pinata again. That'll be cool. Okay, so 3,000 coins, that's a pretty good reward. We get four more of the Grain Buster. <laughs> 75 until the next level, that's really demanding. It's such a huge jump from 10 to 75. But we'll get three more for the uh, walnut. We need three more again before we actually get them to level up. Okay, I don't know why that is so difficult to get to. <laughs> so it looks like we're just moving on to our next level. This is uh, whatever level it is. I don't really know. But we can just go ahead and keep going. So we have a sunflower, well, actually. Yeah, we got lots of zombies going on here, but nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. Yeah. Okay. It is very weird. Oh, can we heart? Oh, we can heart plants and stuff. That's wonderful. I mean, it's gonna be pretty obvious. Is there a way to filter which ones you hearted? I suppose not. <laughs> so I don't know really why you would need that too much. Maybe eventually we get a filter of some sort. Just trying to think this through. I'm thinking we can do a setup like this and it would work just fine. I don't think we need the walnut. I mean, honestly, it'd probably be, like I like the bong choy, but there are definitely some specific situations where he works and somewhere he doesn't. Especially with the torch guy, I feel like that's gonna be a bit of a risk, so I think working with what we got here might be our best idea. So, yeah, it's very interesting. I was gonna say something and now I totally forgot. So, oh, this is our first level with three waves. So this one could certainly be challenged. This is day 16. So I still wanna complete this one and then three others. I wanna get to day 20 in today's episode. That way we have completed 15 levels. I feel like that'll be a pretty good balance. And the next episode we'll be able to do another 15, hopefully, and we can say we've completed Ancient Egypt. So as long as we keep going, there's like something wrong with the game's audio now. Like I played an advertisement and that like messed it up. So I might have to restart after this level or something. Okay, there we go, we got that. Okay. Um, let's, no, let's speed this back up. I don't know why it slowed down. I don't think I need two rows of sunflowers. I'm gonna put bloomerings out this far though, just in case I do. Man, I really don't need the Grey Buster. I think maybe it was a bit of a jump to get that set up. Okay, let's get that there. I'm tempted to set up more sunflowers. I'm thinking it might be a good idea. Because we got so many different uh, zombies to destroy in this if we have three huge waves to survive. Come on, let's get some more sun. Just like this. And there we go. Okie dokes, so the only thing we have to worry about now is getting rid of those uh, torch guys you can see over this way before they end up burning up any of our plants, which we seem to be doing okay so far. I'm gonna keep going. Gotta place down what I can wherever I can. I can bust some graves if I have the grave buster, you know that's the whole point, so might as well get that going. Freeze this guy, put this there. Hope that ends up working out. Okay, you know what, I have a problem here. That was not the way I was supposed to solve that problem. That's a big issue. Um, I might actually have to let him just get the lawnmower. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the game right now. It's sort of like slowing down. That advertisement I saw really messed it up for whatever reason. Must have been a bad advertisement. Must not have been a good game. Like, don't download this game. Don't do it. I try to cut those out, of course, because I don't think you guys have to you know, waste your time seeing the ads. I do wish that there was a way I could just, you know, buy a version of it that just doesn't have advertisements, you know? Or even a version that has all the plants and stuff, you know? But nope, they don't have that. We have to buy them all one at a time. Very silly. Anyways, we seem to be doing a little bit better. Sort of piece in this together part by part, you know? Okay, go ahead and do a little bit of that. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. I just need another iceberg lettuce pronto. There we go. Okay, so, I mean, I wanna freeze all these guys is the thing. I know I need more bloomerangs. The problem is I'm just trying to keep up with everything. Definitely, you know what? Slow it down then. That's my problem, is I need to slow it down. I mean, we've gotten rid of 
two huge waves so far. Like, it happens quick. Okay, there we go. I'm tapping the, the screen like crazy. I need that to be there. I don't know if that'll actually be enough, though. Hold on. There we go, I guess. Uh, not really. Man, oh man, we are in such a bad situation. We are in such a bad situation. Freeze that, get the boomerang there. And the game is like slowing down for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm definitely gonna re reload it after this battle, but this battle is still something we have to survive. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so, get boomerangs wherever I can. I don't know why some of these rounds is everything falls apart. I mean, I'm just barely able to survive, luckily. There we go, get that there. And that should be enough to survive up that way. Let's go ahead and just do this with the cabbage pole. That seemed to work moderately well. Come on, I'm, I accidentally collected sun when I was trying to get rid of the sunflower. There we go. And this is the last guy, so we should be able to get him. There we go. Okie doke. So as you can see, we got another bag of money. That was definitely a hectic round. Man, the, the, I don't know what's going on with the game right now. Not good. So, unlocked repeater we'll be doing in three more levels. Very, very cool. Okay, so before we move forward, if you'll let me, I'm gonna exit to the map. Okay, so the, the game seems to be okay now. Hopefully no more advertisements make the game fall apart. But hey, let's move on over to the next level. Level objectives, never have more than 14 plants. Oh, I hate these ones. Because it doesn't just stop you. I think it totally fails you if you accidentally put more than one, like one more than 14. If you put your 15th plant down, just like boom, you're done. So that stinks, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll do what we can. <laughs> um, So sunflowers are obviously a must. Iceberg lettuce like could be helpful and like potato mine, but I just gotta be careful about how many I place. And then we really want an effective plant. So I think that we're just, I know that we do this combo a lot, but until we get more plants, it's hard to really justify anything else. Um, and then for the last thing, once again, just use something that'll be used, but then go. I think that'll be good. So 14 plants, keep in mind, there's uh, five spaces in a row. So we gotta do three rows minus one would be and it tells us how many are left on the top. You just gotta really pay attention to that and make sure you don't make any silly decisions in a pinch. So we definitely don't wanna do any more than one row of sunflower, and even then, I might adjust that as time goes on and remove some sunflowers, but for right now, we gotta get some sun started, and then we'll work from there. So potato mines, like, we can put those down. We gotta keep in mind that they will explode, and then they'll, we'll have that extra slot again, but in the meantime, it'll be a little bit rough. So I might do that, and... Get a boomerang down and a sunflower, just like that. And if that sunflower can produce two sun, it's already made a positive impact, you know? That's sort of the big thing. So just gotta keep that in mind. Like I said, I'll slowly start removing this stuff. We're already at four left. So I'm not gonna put any more sunflowers in this. But this is just so we can make some extra sun real fast. Okay. So, okay, this is a problem over this way. I'm like making mistakes already. Just trying to figure this out. Get that there, put this guy here. Jeez Louise, it just gets crazy so much. All right, slow it down. That's the problem. I keep on using the speed up when I probably shouldn't be using the speed up. Use, no, come on, I was gonna do a power up on that cabbage pole, you know. Come on, get rid of him. Be gone. You stinkers. Aye, aye, aye. That seems like it's gonna work out then. If I put a potato mine here, we have four left. I should be okay. That's good. We might be able to start speaking things up here for a moment. There we go. Just just for a little bit, just to speed some things along. And now we're gonna start working on the cabbage plots, but I do have to be careful, because we only have two left, three left now. So, maybe something there. Get an iceberg there. Get rid of another sunflower so I can get another bloomerang. This is where things get nasty. Huge wave of zombies are approaching though, so if we can make this work, we'll be fine. So, I'm thinking everybody's here, right? Oh boy, it's gonna be close, but I think I know what to do. Is to throw that out. Boom, get rid of a good chunk of them. Get that, throw out another thing. Boom, get rid of more of them. And then boom, we just gotta focus on this dude right here. So freeze him, that'll be pretty good. Then we can speed this up, get rid of the sunflower, get a bloomerang, and we win. Awesome. Okay, see you, Mr. Zombie. And ooh, look at this. 
All right, it's already taking effect down there. We got ourselves a plus one plant food slot. So instead of holding three, we can now hold four, which will add to our strategicness, I'm sure. Hold on to one more plant food during a level, because now we usually use a plant food when I don't exactly need it, just because I want to make room for the next one. All right, very cool. We got that done in the first try without too much of an issue. Got a little iffy at times. Oh my gosh, so many ads. Oh, Crazy Dave is back. This will be the first last stand. There will be more last stands to come. All right, good to keep in mind. Apply their defense and defeat the zombies. Last stands can be very difficult. But let's continue with our trip to Egypt, ancient Egypt. Um, hmm. So no sunflowers around allowed because we have specifically 2,000 sun to spend. We do have some gravestones about, so I think it would be a good idea to have some free stuff. But to be honest with you, we don't have enough plants to choose other things. So there's no reason to make a proper decision here. Um, Actually, it doesn't even give us a Great Buster. Oh, that, oh, interesting. So I need to design my whole thing right now. We've done one of these last stands in the past in PBZ1, but you know, this is our first time doing it here. I don't think this would be all that bad of an idea. Then we have 625 sun. Five bunk choice is what? Five times 150, that'd be 750. So I want to be able to afford that. I could do like every other lane, so three bunk choice. Or I could just leave it like this, you know? I could set up some of these guys like this. And then get maybe, like I couldn't do, hmm, okay. Maybe just do this then. Is it perfect? Absolutely not, but I'll work with it. Oh, why am I, am I pressing? I gotta press let rock. Okay, I was like speeding it up. Like, is that gonna do what I needed to do? Okay, so they're gonna destroy those gravestones. Once they're destroyed, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, another potato mine there. We'll sort of see how that goes. It might not be so good. I hope that some of these guys end up dropping plant food, because if not, I feel like I've made a big mistake. But I think overall, this is a good choice. Because, you know, these guys just have like a nice, reliable, set of actions and their power-ups are good. It should be fine. But as soon as this gravestone is broken, I need to strike. I need to be able to put a potato mine there. That way there's a potato mine at the ready or things get nasty. But as you can see, like, things are turning out pretty well. Might be a good chance to earn up some more seedlings or something. Or coins at the least because of how many zombies are coming in. They're all like normal non-bucketed zombies. There are some camel zombies, of course, but they're just sort of normal zombies behind those. So once we get the boomerang to do their things, it becomes quite easy. So obviously we have some sun here to make something work if we wanted to. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Now oh, we got a bucket head over that way. Still no pant, plant power, not pant power ups. These plants don't wear pants, that's for sure. Um, but no plant power up showing up so far, so I want to be very uh, frugal with how I spend mine. Especially with this guy. I don't know how it's gonna work out with him. He's definitely working on that walnut now. I mean, with the amount of sun we have, we can have a whole separate row, row of walnuts. So like, that's really good. That's very virtuous to have. That way we can sort of keep with our normal amount of offense and just add to our defense. Like, that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Come on now. Almost got it. Nice. So those guys aren't too much to worry about. You know, it can be a bit scary. We're almost at the end. Then we can just throw on those power-ups and see how things go. The boomerang should be able to handle this without too much of a problem. A huge wave of zombies are approaching. It's the final wave. I feel like if we do this again, I might just do two rows of boomerangs and walnuts. Like maybe that'd be a better idea. Okay, so this seems to be the last set of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this. And then I should just be able to do that again. And we should be good. I mean, relatively. We might end up having to use a potato mine here or there, but I don't think so. That was pretty good. Yeah, there we go. These bucket heads are going down. And it looks like that is about it. Just gotta get rid of this last zombie. And we are good. How wonderful. So two more levels left to do. We've been really making our way through. Very nice. Okay, so unlock the repeater, why shoot 1P when you can shoot two for twice to something? We're almost there. 
<laughs> Move to the next level. What do we got going on in this one? Okay, so day 19 goals, level objectives. Never have more than 12 plants, survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. Now this is a tough combo. I don't see it being very easy, but hopefully there won't be too many zombies as a result. We'll have to wait and see. 12 plants is a lot less. It's only two rows and two plants on top of that. So we can use potato mines and stuff, but very sparingly. We'll wanna do this combo. I know it's a very familiar combo, but it's just, with a very small selection of plants, it just works well. I'll definitely be a bit more open to different strategies once we get a little bit more of a larger pool of plants. Oh, there's no gravestones here. There might be some that pop up, so it's always worth you know, keeping it in mind. But for right now, we're just gonna earn up our row of sunflowers. I'm guessing we're not gonna keep with them for very long. But if there was ever a place to use a sunflower power-up, I feel like it would be a level like this. Like a boosted sunflower, I mean. You get that going on. And we got this dude. I'm gonna put a potato mine there for him. We got six slots left. Honestly, for right now, I think it'd be good to get to sunflowers there and then start replacing them soon. Just gotta be extra, extra careful with how we wanna do everything. Because eventually, I'll, I'll replace all these sunflowers and stuff. But, okay, this is where I slow things down. I'm gonna go ahead and put a potato mine here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this for a bloomerang. And then we can speed it back up. Just gotta be careful, things like that. Don't want it to get nasty. Okay. Come on, get rid of that dude. Thank you so much. Definitely need a potato mine for this guy. And we just need something for this dude. So I'm thinking we could do that. Okay, so no more sunflowers, I think. Like maybe freezing this guy would be good. I hope that potato mine pops up over there. Pretty, pretty please. Thank you so much. Okay. Things are going pretty good. We have 600 sun as it is. Oh, will that work out? Okay, thank goodness it will. Because the second that torch hits a, hits a plant, boom, plant is instantly gone. It's a big problemo. So if I have two left, that means I can place this here, freeze that guy up, and now he's not as much of a problem. I do have to do with something somewhere, somehow up there. Get a boomerang. Will this guy get out of here before he beats up our... Yes, he will. Thank goodness. Hmm. So we're almost good with our setup here. Just gotta do this and that, and now we're good. How wonderful is that? Huge wave of zombies are approaching. Let me freeze this guy. And this is our only huge wave. So what we could do is wait for them all to show up and we have three plant food here. So what you know what I'm gonna do is one, two, and three. And that seems like it was a good idea because I got rid of most of them. <laughs> okay, very cool. I will probably f freeze this guy or something when he gets over here. And we got one left, freeze him. There we go, we got zero left. If I were to place anything more there, I would have failed me, I think. So I'm glad I didn't. But hey, we got it. How cool is that? We're almost at 20,000 coins too. And there it is, finally we get ourselves a repeater. Very, very cool, I'm happy with it. All right, you got a new plant. Shoot two peas at the enemy. And as you can see, our level objectives never have more than 12 plants and survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies is successful. It was not easy, but we do get ourselves a little pinata. What does it have for us? Of course, 50 more coins, not too much of a prize, but we got some stuff for the bong choice. That's gonna be level two for him. And we already have a level up for the repeater, but we get two more seed packets, so even closer. And bonus, some things for whatever the heck that is. The Huracal. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> okay, so there's some events, some world stuff that we're not gonna be worried about too much. Um, let's go here, so I can just get to the Almanac, and then we'll do our last level of the day. It's been a long episode, but I think it's been well worth it just to get this progress done. So as you can see, even though we have five seedlings, it's not really gonna work out for us if we have stuff in those slots. So let's just go ahead, work that down a little bit, and we will see what's going on. So I can level up the Bong Choi, 50 coins, not a problem. So he gets recharge, damage, toughness, and plant food power upgraded, which is great, now he's level two. Over this way, we got the repeater upgraded. This is gonna upgrade his toughness, recharge, and damage. Good combo to have. And he's only three out of 10 into his next level. Good to keep in mind though. So we already have the repeater level two before we even got to use him. How cool is that? So I think we're good to move forward. Not really too much I can do here anyways. 
And also more on the cough up gems, which I am not. Uh, so let's move on to the last level of the day. Over this way, as you can see. Uh, oh, user Dave, I've detected a new rift that has opened. We are now able to access battles. Battles? That sounds like an um, <laughs> arborina of guarding warfare. Battles will allow us to demonstrate our planting prowess and prestige and prizes. That's a lot of peace. That's how I know it's good. So of course, Battles is the online multiplayer to PvZ2 just recently added within like the last year, which is pretty cool. I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I, I don't know well enough about PvZ2 and all the plants to really be able to do it, but maybe one day it would be fun. Level objective, survive and protect the endangered plants. This one may be tough, but it's sort of a copy and paste of a level we've already went through, which is sort of a bit of a letdown. But hey, we got some cool stuff to check out. We have the repeater now, who's gonna be a bit souped up, which is fun. If we wanna try him, might have to do some things that are a bit different, but we can definitely work with it. We do like that. Okay, we're gonna definitely wanna put as many sunflowers down as possible, even if we have a couple to start with. I think it'd be a good idea just to keep going. We do have the Grave Buster, which I think is smart. Just to start busting those graves. So I don't think we need to speed up too much here. We have lots of stuff to do without the speed up. I think if we put the potato mine down right away, that'll be great. We can keep moving. I definitely need to place these guys down though as soon as we can. I think the formation of the sunflowers is a little different. Unless I'm misremembering. Honestly, couldn't tell you. Oh, you know, before it was only three sunflowers. The tough part here is that it's four sunflowers. That's what it is. This is where I could really use a torchwood. But this is where the downside of the, the pea shooters of the repeaters does show is that they can't do much about the gravestones, which is why it's good to have the grave buster wherever we can get it. I'm gonna get a potato mine right over that way, even though I am working on getting more repeaters out. Let's go ahead and get a cabbage bolt there, just so I can deal with that guy as soon as possible. Cause I don't like that situation too much. Okay, so get more sun, get ourselves a repeater there. So we have lots of sunflowers, but it might not be enough, to be honest with you. Not feeling gonna be enough. Uh, maybe I, you know, I uh, now the more I'm going into this, the more I think I should have had walnuts. Should have had walnuts, right? This is getting scary already. I'm gonna put an iceberg there. I mean, I could definitely put down a lot of plants out to sort of make up for that. We'll have to see if that actually works out that way, though. Because I will certainly do something like this. And then get another cabbage pulp there. I mean, as much sun as I can afford to, you know, dish out here. That's what I'll do. We gotta save these guys. Gotta save these sunflowers as much as we can. So, got it. How, how else do I wanna do this? I guess for right now I can do that. And this is gonna be just like a lot of firepower flowing out at all times at the least. That's pretty good. You know, I just gotta pay attention to which zombies are on their way. It's very good that I'm not using the speed up right now. Another seedling, we're getting a crazy amount of those. Okay, so this is good. I'm already at max, so I can go ahead and just do this. I'll definitely wanna check out the repeaters at some point. What happened? Wait, was that, wait, did they eat one? The zombies, I didn't even see him. Oh man, that stings. Can I, I, gotta, I gotta retry. I didn't even see him. Okay, so I'm sort of catching up to where I was. What I need to make sure I do is I pay attention to where the torch guys are, because I think that's like one of the torch zombies walked up and immediately got rid of the sunflower. So like that's definitely something I don't want. The best thing I could possibly do is just make sure that I uh, protect against it, but that can be very difficult at times. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and see how this goes. Just crazy amount of pea shoot out of that, that's pretty cool. Um, so you know what, we need to do this right now. Boom, and then throw one of these out, and then maybe do this, and there we go. Now we're a bit more safe, I think we won. <laughs> so it was a pretty simple procedure. Oh, this is lasting a lot longer than it used to. Definitely a lot longer. Oh, there's more, okay. I didn't expect there to be more for some reason. There we go, just go ahead and do this. And this guy is down. Very cool, this time we got it. We were 20,000 coins, get a couple more. I'm glad we got it this time. It was a little confusing, but we figured it out. Okay, so as you can see, we unlocked the twin sunflower in four levels. Very exciting, I gotta stop looking at that on the bottom right, it's gonna spoil me on what's happening. All right, so as you can see, we got the level objective done. We got coins for it, now we can exit to the map because we got 15, not now, 15 levels done in today's episode. That is quite an awesome feat if you ask me and we'll get another 15 done in the next episode so we can complete ancient Egypt super duper quick if there's actually 35 levels, which I'm pretty sure there is if we just sort of scroll through a little bit. I mean, I don't know if we can actually do all of these right now. Like some of these we can do, some of these we can't. 
I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Definitely though, we'll tackle the next 10 levels or whatever this is, five levels. <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe next episode will be short. Cause I know some of these are added after the game is done and like super difficult or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Mummy. So now you've watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.